Hi everyone, it's Danny. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a makeup collection slash tips on how to declutter your makeup collection and my storage, everything like that. So just basically to help you organize your makeup better and to give you some helpful tips on how to downsize your collection or just get rid of some things that you don't need or use and how to really be ruthless about it. So here is my current makeup collection in its current state. It's a bit messy, I haven't sorted it out for about six months, I just have been shoving things in my drawers and I have bags and makeup bags which have makeup in because they won't fit in my drawers and I also have my moody drawers so as you can see all of that is quite a mess so I will be sorting it all out for you today so you can see how I get rid of things and how I end up storing everything. So my first tip is to get absolutely everything out of your makeup storage area, whatever you have it in, whether you have it in a makeup bag or whether you have drawers or if you have just one big box, anything like that, just get everything out and put it all on your bed and then sort it out into piles of concealers, foundations, blushes, lipsticks, lip liners, highlighters, bronzers, everything like that so everything's in separate piles and then one by one sort through each pile separately. I then will go on to clean my makeup storage so I'll just get some antibacterial cleansing wipes and just clean everything down because I don't tend to get to do that if all my makeup's all in there so whilst everything's out I'll just give it all a good scrub to make sure there's no bacteria or dirt or makeup or anything in the drawers or in the containers. So when I'm sorting out my makeup, I'll tend to sort them out through which order I apply them. So I'll start with primers and then go on to foundations, concealers, so on and so forth, just so that I can then put them back into my drawers, starting from left to right in the order that I would use them and reach for them. So when I'm sorting out which pieces to keep and which pieces to get rid of, I will first off look at them and think have I used this in the past year because in a year obviously you have all of the seasons and you have all of the holidays so if you haven't used it in the past year then you're probably not going to use it again so for example a red lipstick I only tend to wear red lipstick at Christmas so I don't really need hundreds of red lipstick so I'll keep my favourite and which one I know I've worn the most throughout the year and the rest of them I'll probably get rid of maybe keep one back up or something just in case I want a slightly different shade so so once I've established which bits I have worn recently or I do really love and still want to keep, I'll then go through the pile of things that I want to get rid of and see whether they are still in date and obviously if they are out of date I want to just chuck them away. So I'll have a bin liner at my side so that I can just chuck away any bits which are out of date or not really very good to pass on. And then anything which is still in date, still usable, still has quite a good amount left, I'll put in a bag to show my friends and my mum and just see if they want any of it. And I'll also go through that bag and see if there's any bits that I want to sell. And if I'm going to sell makeup, I will use Depop. I did stop using Depop around September last year because my account just stopped working so I'm going to try and get it working again this year or maybe open a new account to sell some of my makeup. I will put my username on the screen now so that you can buy some of my makeup bits off me if you want. So yeah, really it's as simple as that when it goes to clearing out your makeup. Just be ruthless, think have I worn this recently? Have I worn it in the past year? If the answer is no to both of those then you do not need it because no one needs 50 lipsticks of the same shade, which is what I was guilty of before. I used to just buy loads of lipsticks in the same shade because I really liked them and then just not wear them because I only have one mouth. So that's everything. All of my makeup is now tucked away nicely in my makeup drawer in all the separate containers, very neat and tidy unlike before. And my moody drawers are all refreshed with all the products which I know I'm going to use on a daily or almost daily basis. And everything is all usable and not out of date which is something that you really want to make sure of because you don't want to be putting out of date makeup on your face because it could cause a reaction or some kind of infection or just something horrible. You don't want to be using out of date things so close to your eyes and your mouth and everything like that. So I'll just show you a brief overview of all the makeup pieces I currently have at the moment because I'm sure some of you will be interested and I know I love watching makeup collection videos 
So I'm not going to go too in depth because obviously you've seen me put everything away but I'll just show you some of my favourite pieces and some things I recommend. Okay so now that my makeup is all organised and put away neatly I thought I would give you a brief overview of my collection and how I've actually organised it all. So this first little container here is all of my primers, so eye primers and face primers. My favourite face primer is this Burberry one. It is the Burberry Fresh Glow Primer in Nude Radiance. And then my other favourite primer, but I use this more for bronzing, is the This Works Perfect Look Skin Miracle. And then this next container here is all of my eyebrow products and my mascaras. And then I've just got my By Terry Balm de Rose in there as well because it wouldn't fit anywhere else. So I'm currently using up this Clinique mascara. This is the High Impact Extreme Volume mascara but it's nearly all out and I don't think I'll buy it again. I did like it but I've now found this mascara which I really love and I've had a couple of samples of it. So I have been using it for a while and I finally picked up the full size. And it is the Kevin Aquan the essential mascara so once the Clinique is all out I will be opening that up and then for eyebrows I used to absolutely love the Hourglass eyebrow pencil but I've now fallen in love with the Chantecaille waterproof brow definer you've probably seen it in a lot of my videos recently and I've also just picked up which I can't wait to try the one sec, Bobbi Brown brow kit and it's still in the box because I haven't used it yet but it just looks like this with two brow shades oops <laughs> and yeah so I think that'll be good for when I don't want to use a harsh pencil and then onto this one this is my concealers here and then my foundations here so concealer wise my favorite concealer is the NARS radiant creamy concealer I use this all over my face under my eyes and everything and then I also use the Dior Skin Star Concealer under my eyes before the NARS just to brighten everything a bit and then foundation wise I have loads of favourites I really found it hard to narrow these down when I was getting rid of things so I just kept most of them but these two are my favourite everyday ones this is the Burberry Fresh Glow BB Cream and this is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser and this one is really really light coverage and this one is more of a medium coverage but they're both really natural and glowy looking. And then I've just picked up NARS Sugar Glow again. I used to absolutely love this a couple of years ago. So I picked up another one for evenings and if I want a higher coverage base. Then I've also got my favourites like the Chanel Vice Lumia Aqua and the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation and things in there. And then onto this little section, this is all of my powders. I don't actually have that many. This one is the Ambient Lighting Powder by Hourglass and mine is cracked. I literally just tipped out all of the cracked bit because I wasn't using it because I was afraid to make a mess. So I got rid of all the cracked stuff so that I will actually use it more because I do really love it. And this is the shade Luminous Light. And then this is the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Translucent. I use this mainly if I want my makeup to last all day because it is a bit more matte than I like. But obviously it does really help your makeup stay in place. And then this is the Chanel Le Beige Powder and I use this almost daily. I just have it in my bag for powdering and touching up. And then this is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder, which I tend to use to powder at home before I go out because it's really good at making sure everything's set in place for the day without taking away the glow. And then next onto this section, this is all of my bronzers and highlighters. So I've been loving NARS Laguna again at the moment because it's perfect for summer. It's a really nice warm bronzy shade and it's great for if you've got a tan because it does really make sure your tan matches your face because I never tan my face. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Mine doesn't really shut properly anymore, which is annoying because it was quite expensive, but it still works perfectly fine and I love this palette. I use this sort of most days as my bronzer and highlighter duo. This is the NARS Multiple in South Beach. I use this as my highlighter if I want something a lot more bronzy and warm for a really nice bronzed makeup look. And then I've just got things like my Kevin Aquan, the Sculpting Powder in Medium, and I've also got the Celestial Powder in Candlelight, and I've also got the new one, which is in Starlight, and this one's more of a pinky highlight. And then this section is for all of my blushes, so I absolutely love this Tom Ford blush. It's such a beautiful 
peachy pinky shimmery golden shade it really does warm up and brighten the cheeks and it's the shade love lust and then i also love the tarte amazonian clay blush in exposed this is just a really nice dusty pinky brown shade which i like to have smoky eyes or bold lips because it doesn't really interfere too much with the rest of my makeup and i also love this burberry blush which is in the shade tangerine blush and it's just the perfect peachy sheer wash of colour for your cheeks if you just want something really subtle and natural but you do want a bit of a peach shade on your cheeks. And then some others I love. I love this Becca blush in Flower Child because it's just a really nice peachy pinky shade with gold shimmer. Again, that's kind of my favourite blush shade to wear. Yeah, and then I've got this Erin blush highlighter thing in the shade... What's it called? Freesia. And it's just a really nice cream blush in a nice peachy pink shade with gold shimmer surprise surprise so yeah that's most of my blushes i've got a couple of nars blushes and things which i love and then this section here is all of my cream eyeshadows loose eyeshadows eyeliners eyeshadow crayons things like that just everything eyes that isn't a palette and isn't a mascara basically is in here so this is the chanel cream eyeshadow the illusion d'ombre in Emmaville. I'm not very good at French but this is just a really nice pinky shimmery champagne shade which is great for every day and then this is the matte paint, MAC paint pot in groundwork which I wear almost daily if I'm going to be wearing a subtle smoky eye or if I want something a little bit brown and smoky on my eyelids and then I really love this body shop eyeshadow in the shades melt my heart this is one of their color crush eyeshadows it's just a really nice champagne -y, very slightly bronze shimmery shade and then this is a really unusual color this is the mac pro longwear eyeshadow in the shade uninterrupted and it's just a really nice warm terracotta brownie shade which is just really unusual but really lovely in the crease and then I've got loads of eyeshadow crayons, but I really love this Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, in the shade Amber Haze, which is meant to be for brown eyes, but I think any eye colour could pull it off. And then finally, palettes and lipsticks and lip glosses. So, palettes first, I've got my Naked 2 palette here down the side because it wouldn't fit in the box. And then I've got my absolute favourite Burberry eyeshadow palette, which is in the shade Mocha, which is really lovely for every day. I wear this quite a lot, depending on whether I want a smoky eye or just a really subtle bit of brown crease definition. I'll usually just pull this out. And then I've got my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, which is really nice for more deep smoky eyes, and I tend to wear this in the evening. This is the shade Fallen Angel. And then I've got one of the new Hourglass eyeshadow palettes. This is a purpley shade palette. I never usually go for purples, but I just wanted a palette that was purple, so I had the option. And this is the shade Exposure, I believe. Modernist or Exposure? Probably Exposure, because that's the biggest name. And then finally, lipsticks and lip glosses. So this is all of my lipsticks. I used to have so many more, but I've really narrowed it down, which I'm happy about. I do have quite a few matte ones here still, but it is a lot less than I used to have. So these are my NARS lipsticks plus one MAC lipstick. So I've got two of the new Audacious lipsticks. Well, they're probably not that new anymore, but this is a really nice deep red shade, and it is called... Olivia and then this is a really nice pinky corally shade called Grace which I absolutely love it's so nice and bright and vivid and perfect for spring and summer and then I've got my Burberry lipsticks this one is my newest one which is one of the Burberry Kisses lipsticks in pink peony and then I've got a few Chanel lipsticks this is my absolute favorite it is called Liberté and it's one of the Rouge Coco Shines this is just a really nice glossy peachy nude shade and then I've got my Tom Ford lipsticks. This is such a beautiful colour. It is called Nubilee and it's one of their lip colour shines. And then I've got a few more shades. I've got Indian Rose, which is a really nice nude shade again. I tend to go for sort of peachy nude shades a lot. Then I've got my Charlotte Tilbury red lipstick, which is beautiful this is in the shade love bite and this is my favorite red for when i want to wear a red lipstick and then i've got loads of mac lipsticks let me know if you'd like to see a, an updated mac lipstick collection because there's just way too many to show you right now and then these are all my lip glosses and liquid lipsticks and lip pencils like these kind of crayons and lip liners so i have loads of these 
um, yeah, I'm not really sure I'm going to show you them all, but this is a really lovely Laura Mercier lip gloss in the shade Baby Doll. It's one of their lip glasses. I absolutely love the formula of those. And then I really love these Hourglass, what are they called? Femme Nudes. This is the shade 6. It's the darkest one, but I find it perfect for my skin tone. Then at the bottom, I've got my MAC liners. I've got World Spice and Chick Trick. <laughs> and what a blast and I've got a few more and I can't remember the names of them and then I've got my NARS satin lip pencils I've got the shade Luxembourg and then I've got one of the velvet matte lip pencils and this is in the shade red square and then I've got some of these mini ones which I got as a set this is a satin one again in the shade Descanso which is a nice peachy nude Then I've got Cruella, which is one of the matte lip pencils, and I go on and on and on. And then I absolutely love this. This is the Laura Mercier. This is one of their new products. It's called the Paint Wash Liquid Lip Colour, and this is the shade Nude Rose, which is a really nice nude rose shade, as I always buy. And yeah, I think that's about it. I could show you everything individually, but there's just so much stuff. It would take so long. Let me know if you'd like to see some kind of lipstick collection or MAC lipstick collection or anything like that. And I can definitely do that because lipsticks are what I have the most of. So that's the end of the video. I hope you found it informative and found it helpful and you're now going to go and sort out your own makeup collection and be ruthless and get rid of some pieces which you don't need. If you have any questions about the products you've seen or any more tips I might have or if you have any tips for everyone wanting to declutter their makeup collection then do leave them in the comments section down below and I'll check them out and obviously everyone else will be able to check them out. So as always like this video if you liked it and you found it informative and helpful and do subscribe to see more of my videos. I upload fitness and beauty and fashion videos so there's a mixture for you to watch and yeah so again thank you for watching. I've said that about 10 million times now but I will see you next time. Bye!